What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires Mudrunner and we are going to be doing the towing challenge portion of our diesel truck shootout with the Chevy this time. This is Banks' Duramax, it's the, uh, it's the welding rig, but it's not the dually. The dually was not part of this competition because I didn't feel like it would be fair, especially in terms of towing because these are single rear wheel trucks and we don't want to bring a dually to this party because it will completely decimate any of them. Um, um, just because of the fact that it distributes the weight better, but this truck actually has a lot of available upgrades, quite a lot of them actually, and we are going to go for, see the thing is there's two different goosenecks we could go with, I'm just going to go with the, the one up top that says gooseneck, but uh, regardless, we're going to be pulling, I feel like since we pulled the, the, we pulled the Ford using the Dodge, and then we pulled the Dodge using the Ford, we're just going to pull the Ford with the Chevy. That that should work. That that should work. So, um, oh, this one, this one you have to, like, this one likes to move with the parking brake on as well, uh, which is really weird. I don't know why it likes to do that. It's, it's, th this one and the Ford both do it, and it's very weird. But regardless, I'm going to grab the Ford and move it over into position, and then we'll drop the ramps and load it up. Now, at this point in the, uh, at this point in this little series, I've kind of been learning that there's a, it's like, we learned that the Dodge had, you know, really short, t you know, really short, tight together gearing, and the Ford was just a powerhouse, and I'm curious to see if the, I feel like the Chevy will probably strike somewhat of a balance in between, um, but I'm not sure, I feel like there's, there's the potential for that, but, um, but we have to actually wait and see. Now, I haven't actually towed with the Chevy in a long, like, long, long time. And the last thing I towed with it was, like, something really, really light, like a lightweight buggy or crawler or something. It wasn't anything like, uh, like a full-size truck. So, let's go ahead and get this guy up on the trailer. And, oh, God, slammed it into the front. Let's, you know what? Let's just leave it there. Let's, wait. Let's see. Come on. Slowly. All right. We do a little bit more. In like low one. No, you gotta stay. That should work. That should work. That should work. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and stop the engine and put the parking brake on and swap over to the Chevy. Now you can actually see that right now the Chevy is squatting a lot. Like more than the, uh, more than I, I would say both the Dodge and the Ford did. I mean, this thing is squatting a ton. So, we're gonna go ahead and put it in low three and set off, but, dude, oh my god, it is literally, like, about to drag its, like, bumper hitch on the ground, and it's just, god, it would be rubbing the rear tires so bad right now. So, I think in terms of, like, weight capacity, I think we can definitely, like, already... I can say we're giving that to the Ford. Now, in terms of, like, actual power, though, and, like, you know, drivability, no issues with the Chevy so far, other than the fact that we kind of scraped the trailer a little bit back there, so that makes me wonder if we're going to have issues with the trailer getting stuck later on. Haven't had any grip issues, but we're very early on into this challenge, so we'll have to see uh, when the time comes what those are like. Now, the interior view, eh, it's okay. It's a little bit better than the one in the Dodge. I didn't even check the one in the Ford. Uh, I, I, it's not really a point in this uh, in this competition that I'm actually even considering. So I don't think it's like I don't think it's that important to talk about it. But let's go ahead and get these trucks right around this corner real quick. And God, the that trailer is bouncing awkwardly. It's just like it's doing this weird like juddery bounce thing. So far, no ground scraping issues though. I mean, like, in, uh, unless you, you want to talk about the back of the trailer. I mean, like, in terms of the underbody of the trailer. Because that's, really that's really the only part of the trailer that matters if it scrapes. Because if that scrapes, you're getting stuck. If anything else scrapes, you're okay. Like, if the ramps scrape, like, big deal, whatever. But if the center, like, if the, like, the center of the trailer scrapes, then you're gonna high center. And it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty high chance that you're gonna high center. But... Let's go ahead and get right up to the fuel station area, and we'll get this thing refueled. Um, which, by the way, the Ford does also win in terms of fuel capacity. Um, but again, that's just part of the truck's coating. That's not like, you know, to say they would win in real life because of that. I'm just saying that's that's where they win in the game. Again, because of the way their fuel capacity is programmed. So don't take that to mean, like, I think that 
say, for example, a Ford has a better fuel capacity than, like, a Dodge or a Chevy, that's just, that's just the way they appear in the game. I'm not sure what the fuel capacities are of these trucks in real life, but let's go ahead and get stopped right here at the fuel station real quick. We'll get this truck refueled, and we should be good to go. I was like, I was waiting for it. It, it was like, for a minute, it was like, just not going to do it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's throw in an automatic and see how quickly it shifts up to the gears. That's second, third, fourth. It grips fairly well. It does not. That's fifth. So it's not as fast as the... It doesn't feel as fast as the, as the Dodge, but it's... Like, it doesn't feel as fast as the Dodge, but it's definitely nowhere near as fast as the Ford. The Ford is an absolute screamer in terms of speed and power. It, like, it just demolishes these other two trucks. I feel like this one feels a little slower than the Dodge to drive. Like, just, like, by a little bit. Not by that much, but a little bit. And uh, I would say it's not, you know... But I, but at the same time, the, the, the automatic mode is fairly smart. It actually, you know, went down from, like, you know, fifth to second... And then just kept the power on, and now we're back up to fourth, rolling along in the mud. We're about to hit the bridge. It'll probably change into fifth uh, while we're on the bridge, to be honest, because it's a smoother surface. But let's just see what it wants to do. Uh, we're still in fourth, actually. Kind of surprised about that. Oh, there it goes in fifth. Now let's see how it does continuing down this dirt road, leaving it in an automatic mode, which means I'm going to be on and off the throttle. And for the most part, it's just kind of staying in third, which is a really good spot to stay. It's a really good spot to be, really good spot to, uh, really good sp spot for the truck. Honestly, we're up to fourth now, just kind of cruising. No issues at all. About to take this little swampy, muddy section on in automatic mode, by the way. Oh, wow, yeah, fourth gear just, like, dude, this thing's just eating in fourth gear. I love it. Properly, pro uh oh, it went back down to first. That was a little iffy. Neither one of the other trucks, I feel like, would go back down to first there. But this one, I think, this one's got so much, like, so much of a of an issue of that weight on the back end that it's really getting weighed down. Like the like power wise, you can tell the truck's okay. But like, look how much the the tires are being shoved up into the rear fenders. It's like it just can't take this weight. Third, fourth. Actually shifted into fourth going uphill. Will it hold fourth, though? I'm actually surprised. It held it pretty dang well. It held it fa very well. Keep her moving. Keep her moving. Keep her moving. Keeping it in fourth. Staying on the road. Just keeping her in fourth and rolling. God, this thing does, like, uh, I think this one is probably, when it comes to, like, climbing hills and stuff like that, this one's very good at man maintaining momentum, but, man, if that rear suspension could hold a little bit more weight, this truck would be a lot better, and I would actually have some concerns about this truck going up steeper hills, but just then, you could see that it just sh shifted back down to second, and then powered right back up very quickly and easily, so I think it did, it did well for the most part, but not quite as well as the Dodge, and definitely not as well as the Ford. And again, that's not any any, any sort of like Ford fanboy type thing. I, I I I come at this from like an open mind. And and again, like like I said, at the same time, you know, there would be no reason to come at this from a fanboy perspective because these trucks are. It's like they're in game. You know what I mean? They're in game, and they're not. You know, they're definitely not directly representative of the performance of these trucks in real life. I mean, they're as close as banks could get as as. You know, as I assume they're as close as banks could get them, but again, there's always going to be a lot of like these are not like perfect physics replicas or anything like that. These are um, these are mods, and I'm simply comparing them for how they perform in game, and not like you know based on what my favorite truck would be in real life. So I think in terms of towing, anyways, for me, the the Chevy would have to come third, the Dodge is coming second, and the Ford comes first um you guys can obviously you can test these out yourself uh, yourselves and you know come up with your own 
and come up with your own verdicts on uh, on which one you think is the best for towing. But that is my personal uh, personal opinion on which ones I or, or where I would rank these three trucks in terms of towing. And uh, but I think they're all awesome. I think they all did a great job. And I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. Um, I'll be back again very soon with more content for you guys um, in regards to these trucks. But stay tuned. We'll see you guys again soon.